What's up, YouTube? So we're back. Now I'm on to uh, flushing this for the second time. So let me show you what I got. An empty washer fluid bottle with nothing in it. All right, nothing in it. A three-quarter radiator hose that goes over over one side of the heater core inlet and then a 5 8 on the opposite side so what I'm gonna wind up doing right now is I'm gonna pour just regular water into the 5 8 side regular water in the 5 8 side and then we're gonna use compressed air and I'm gonna show you my trick very good success rates. So you use an air hose chuck and an airline, and you need good compressed air. Fold the hose over, and then gently gently burst it into the hose, and then you're going to flip the heater core lines, so you're gonna flush it both ways. And then just swap the heater lines. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And sometimes I'll spray brake clean in there and I think I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna spray some brake clean into the 5 8 hose side. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. Compressed air. If you don't have compressed air, sometimes it's a pain in the ass just using your hose because the hose water pressure sometimes just isn't enough oomph to, dis to dislodge the skank. And it's sure cheaper than replacing the heater core, that's for sure. So now let's see. If you've seen a previous video, right? Look how much more chunks are in this container. And all that is taken away from heat soak in the heater core. And every little bit counts. Look at all that crap. Thanks for watching. Did you see that? Did you see it?